Ever wondered why some people are terrified of spiders while others fear heights? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of phobias. But before we dive in, let's clear up a common misconception. Fear and phobia are not the same thing. Fear, while often an unpleasant experience, is a normal emotional response to a real or perceived threat. It's that jolt in your stomach when you spot a large spider crawling up your wall, or the dizzying sensation you feel when standing on a high ledge. A phobia, on the other hand, is an overwhelming fear of objects or situations. Picture someone with a spider phobia. They might go to great lengths to avoid anything spider-related, to the point where it starts to consume their life. They could spend countless hours worrying about spiders and avoiding places where spiders might be. So, a phobia isn't just a fear, it's a fear that can take over your life. Did you know that there are more than 400 recognized phobias? That's right, from acrophobia, the fear of heights, to mysophobia, the fear of germs. Common phobias also include aviophobia, the fear of flying, and claustrophobia, the fear of enclosed spaces. But wait, it gets even more interesting. There are some phobias that might raise an eyebrow or two. Take calogenophobia, for instance, which is the fear of beautiful women. Or, turophobia, the dread of cheese. And let's not forget phobophobia, the fear of developing a phobia. Talk about fear inception. Now, for a touch of irony, consider hippopotamonstrosesquipedaliophobia, the fear of long words. That's 15 syllables of pure terror for some. And then there's anatidophobia, the fear that somewhere, somehow a duck is watching you. Yes, you heard that right. Phobias are as diverse as they are intriguing. Some are common, and others are downright bizarre. While some phobias have existed for ages, others are relatively new. And guess what? Even celebrities aren't immune to them. Take nomophobia, for example. The fear of not having a mobile phone, a modern anxiety that's gaining momentum. In the world of celebrities, Christina Ricci grapples with botanophobia, a fear of indoor plants. Alfred Hitchcock, the master of suspense, had an aversion to eggs known as ovophobia. And Johnny Depp, despite his daring roles, has a triad of fears, clowns, spiders, and ghosts. Phobias don't discriminate, affecting everyday people and celebrities alike. Have you ever wondered how phobias develop? Let's explore. Often they are the result of traumatic events. Imagine almost falling off a cliff, which could lead to acrophobia, the fear of heights. Phobias can also be learned. Listening to a parent's terrifying tale of a turbulent flight might develop into aviophobia, a fear of flying. Surprisingly, phobias can even be passed down in your DNA. So, phobias can originate from a variety of sources, making them even more complex than they appear. So, what have we learned about phobias today? We've discovered that a phobia is more than just fear. It's an overwhelming dread of a specific object or situation that can consume a person's life. We've also explored the vast array of phobias, over 400 in fact, some of which may sound strange or even amusing, like anatidophobia, the fear of being watched by a duck. We delved into the rise of modern phobias, such as nomophobia, the fear of not having your phone on you, which is a sign of our times. We've seen that even renowned celebrities aren't immune to these intense fears, with Johnny Depp being afraid of clowns, spiders, and ghosts. And we've learned that phobias can have different origins from traumatic events to inherited predispositions. Phobias are a complex and intriguing part of human psychology. The more we understand them, the better we can manage and overcome them.